What you should know before lending your money again. Oh, debtors, we all know them. When they come to borrow money from you, they are all begging, pitiful, sorrowful, and humble, and you kind of feel pity for them, and then you lend them your money. And then when it's time for payback, oh my goodness, usually I don't know how, but the same people most of the times turn out to be more arrogant, and you're wondering, is this not the same person who came all humble and sorrowful for help and many people have lost friends and families and relationships due to money in the process of debt and many even have caught illnesses because of debts they couldn't pay high blood pressure stress anxiety so well I'm going to share with you a principle in this video which I learned from one of my pastors, Aroko Yosunde, uh, some time ago and it's been really a great help for me because uh, you can't deny that you won't help a brother in time of need or a sister in time of need. I mean, you could be the one in time of need. So saying you won't lend anyone your money isn't uh, a viable solution in this kind of time. But I hope this principle is going to help you. It's worked for me. So the rule number one when it comes to borrowing and lending is never lend anyone something which you can't give them never lend anyone something which you can't give them as a gift never lend anyone money an amount of money which you cannot give them this reminds me of the scene in the richest man in babylon where bansia's friend akai comes to borrow some money from him and he tells him if he ever had two shekels which he was trying to borrow he won't even borrow it to him because it will be his entire fortune and no one borrows his entire fortune not even to his best of friends and that is the principle Imagine that you lend your entire fortune or capital to a friend and they go and encounter challenges and paying you back. The chances are you're going to have it very difficult coping without your fortune and whatever plans you made on it. And the relationship with your friend is going to suffer a lot of stress because of this situation at least for most people and that is why you always want to learn people just what you can give them so if they bring it back to pay thank god they are faithful if they don't bring it back you consider it as a gift that you give them so if someone comes to borrow a million dollars and you know in your account you have just a million dollars and you can't give them a million dollars and still be comfortable to live with all your projects and your plans but you can give them a hundred thousand dollars or two hundred thousand then you lend them two hundred thousand dollars and if they bring it back wow thank god if they don't bring it back you're not stressed you're not worried this saves you all the stress of chasing after them this saves your friendship and your relationship i mean you can just be silent they have all the time to bring it back so you can consider it a silent gift if they bring it back fine if they don't and also this saves them stress anxiety and sickness i mean even right in the church when brother A is owing brother B, immediately the service is over and A sees B approaching, he leaves through the other door and once he sees A entering through this door, he jumps through that other door and they are playing all this Tom and Jerry game. Well, it's not supposed to really be that way if you understand this principle. However, I'm not saying that everyone who comes to borrow money or anything is untrustworthy and will fail no but even the people with the most good intentions can face unforeseen circumstances and challenges and that usually like it's true uh, majority of the time people don't intentionally don't want to pay you back what the bird but challenges could come up and things are not as they expected so to save yourself the trouble to save themselves the trouble only learn what you can give and if you can give why not just give but if you must learn then learn what you can give and let it be a silent gift 
So that's the one principle that should help you in managing your money as it comes to borrowing and lending. Only learn what you can give. So if they bring it back, fine. If they don't, no one stresses, no one goes through tough times of sickness, no one's relationships are destroyed, and everybody is at peace no matter the circumstances. One more thing, however, always judge the reasons for which people come to you to borrow money. Be wise, save your relationships, only learn what you can give. So, hope you like this video. If you did, click the thumbs up button, subscribe if you haven't yet, and share this with all your friends. You know it will be a benefit to them. Thank you so much for watching. I am Buddha's Jumesi from Wisdom for Dominion, and see you in our next video.